Hello everyone, welcome back to Mules of Tech Zone and I would like to thank each and everyone for the 25,000 subscribers milestone. Uh, without your support and love, I wouldn't have reached uh, this milestone. So I thank everyone and keep encouraging me. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to get the latest updates from our channel. So you might have already seen the thumbnail. Today's topic is all about any point code builder. So basically I will be making a series of videos on any point code builder. Let's get into uh, this stuff. Why, what is any point code builder and why, why are we going to use it? So before that, uh, why this any point code builder came into picture? It is because you all know if you are already into MuleSoft and working on uh, working with MuleSoft, uh, you must be using AnyPoint Studio, uh, which is quite heavy to install on your system. Like it consumes a lot of CPU, hard disk and all those stuff. Basically, the tool itself is more than 2 GB, right? So MuleSoft has come up with a kind of we can call as a future replacement for AnyPoint Studio. That is our AnyPoint Code Builder. So AnyPoint Code Builder is an alternative for uh, any point studio and uh, if not now but eventually you know uh, <clears throat> uh, they will trans they will do this transition from any point studio to any point code builder because any point code builder is lightweight and uh, it is uh, based on uh, microsoft visual code so it will be easy to install and uh, you know it it's not too complicated just like any point studio and uh, this AnyPoint code builder is uh, of two version. One is you can download as a desktop version or you can use it a uh, cloud-based version. Cloud-based is nothing but once you log into AnyPoint platform, you can see that there is this called AnyPoint code builder and currently this is of a beta version. So the full-fledged version is going to be <coughs> released and it is expected around October 2024. So, but you can get your hands dirty on any point code builder because it is uh, too cool to use so to get started uh, by default now you should be seeing any point code builder even for your trial account so click on get started <coughs> and you will see a screen something like this so here there are two ways either you can use any point code builder online or you can install it for the desktop so i will show this installation of desktop in our next video but for now i'm going to launch the online anypoint code builder and if you are using anypoint code builder for the first time please remember that it will take a while to spin up your anypoint code builder okay so it says like we are preparing your cloud id right and you can the best way <clears throat> the best thing with anypoint code builder is now you can like code your things online like because it is cloud you can just log into any point platform and you can code and with this any point code builder you can try to design an api mm -hmm. develop i mean do the implementation part connecting with the connectors data view transformations everything again most of the features if you are expecting like um, <clears throat> the full version of any point code builder is going to be released in october 2024 but i think it is time for the developers to get started to habituate this hands-on on any point code builder because as i said it would be a future replacement for any point studio so it's always better to get started and learn things and try experiment things if there are any issues you can always raise to the uh, product team so that <clears throat> it's very uh, yeah it, it it is actually helpful to get started with now so you can see like now your cloud id is ready to use for me i have already used this anypoint code builder so it, it it took like two minutes for me to spin up but if it is for the first time, it might take up to five to 10 minutes or even more. So have some patience uh, and you can get started with this. So now you can see like I have already like I have some workspace. So even if this is a cloud based one, you can create your own workspace. OK, so I have done this mini hack in the recent TDX event that has uh, happened. So you can always click on like new or you know new folders and all those stuff. So just wanted to give you an overview like this is this is like a microsoft visual code based ones right so the foundation is microsoft visual code whereas any point studio is based on eclipse based version right so you can see similar things like you know some kind of arguments or you know some kind of commands like go to file short and commands just like visual code 
right and if i want you to if you see let me see what i can show you so you can see the settings the keyboard shortcuts and all and um, turn on cloud changes if you want to do that and uh, yep if these are the files if you want to create any new project let's go file mm, let me create or give me a second close it it says like you have not logged into any point platform you can click on allow it says open you can close this page now let me close it and yes now i am logged into any point platform all right so let's explore this So this is a place where you can get started with. You can click on the mule icon here. And if you want to design an API, you can click always like click on design API. If you want to implement something, you can click on this. And if you want to develop an integration, you can click on this. Again, I will be making a series of videos on AnyPoint Cloud Builder because even I am new to AnyPoint Cloud Builder and I'm just uh, teaching whatever I have learned. Okay, let's start with designing of an API. You can click design of an API, okay. You can just minimize this or remove this this is similar to something that you do using design center right so if you go and go into design center we always click create new api specification it is similar to that you can enter your um, project name here my first though it is not first any point code builder and you can choose the api language here like whether you want to go with RAML or OS, your wish. I am more familiar with RAML, so click on Create Project. So it is creating an API specification. It asks you, like, do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? You can always click Yes. And uh, because I have already created a project, um, it will always be in my work. You know, I have created a workspace. Uh, so if it is the first time for you probably it will pop up a place where you want to save these files on your local so create a workspace just like what you do in any point studio right you create a workspace there rest everything is normal you can always like for example uh, there is no code changes or something like that so for example if i go to order details of my existing project you can just copy paste it is one and the same so let me copy this everything so click on enter yep so you can also see like you know this is this is kind of uh, uh, visi visual studio pattern okay i know that i haven't created any file here so i'm going to remove this type because it is there in external files yep so this is how it looks i think you can also view the graphical representation let me see if i have that yep you can click on the api console i will show you again like you can choose this icon here that is api console to view your documentation which is more similar to your api design designer like documentation part here all right so click on get you can show see it like you can mark you can use so basically it will create its own port because it is on local so blah 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 send it you can see the response here okay so um, this is something like so try to get habituated with this uh, any point code builder let's say explore more options so what is this we are building your api so i clicked on this it says like we are building your api um, this is kind of a two plane view like if you want to compare or something let me close this three plane view oh it's creating more tabs okay so yeah let's see how we can close this oh, close so now uh, give me one second uh, i haven't seen pop up so as i said like this is more of a visual course uh, visual code tool based uh there are some things let me first okay it's asking for 
a project name because I'm trying to close, I'm trying to save. Let's give a project name like my first ACB any point code builder. I think it is asking, let me escape this. Let me close this. It will be more clear now. So I have my RAML and I think I have tried to click to, you know, build an API here. If you click on this icon, you can see something like, let me escape again, I will show you. So it's saying like we are building an API. So it is asking for a project name because you are trying to now build an API out of this RAML, right? So my first, let me try to use the same name, my first ACB and click on enter. And it is asking the place where you want to save your project. So I have it here, click on okay. So something failed creating the project template, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if this has been created. Okay, before publishing to Exchange, I wanted to let you know a few things I missed before. Uh, that is like, uh, please don't forget to log in to your AnyPoint platform account here. It will show something over here. Okay, and just before that you have seen on my screen, like I haven't logged into my AnyPoint platform. You must be wondering like you have already logged into your AnyPoint platform and you have launched ACB. But once you have launched ACB, it's just like the cloud ID that you have. And there is other thing like you should also log in again to the AnyPoint platform. So if you haven't logged in, please try to log in uh, to the AnyPoint platform. All right. And the next thing is like you have some settings over here so you can explore settings. I keep I, I don't want to put everything in one video, but I will keep uh, explaining that in the coming videos. But uh, if you go to settings, it's just like how we have in our AnyPoint Studio example, Windows with preferences, etc. Right. So, for example, like um, your cl cloud plane, like you can always choose your control plane, whether you want to deploy it in US or EU that you can do that. So it is under the extension here and you have like many settings like workbench, like where you want it to store, etc, etc. So you keep exploring this and you have a lot of options here. Yep, that's what I wanted to tell you before publishing to exchange. Another thing, as I said, like this particular ACB is based out of MS Visual Code. So the way that you uh, publish to exchange is like you should select this command so you have to select this option show and run commands before doing that I wanted to show you something interesting here can you see here like query parameters in design center you would have got the prompts like the next what what would be the next syntax right so here also you can see something like query parameters and can you see here like query parameters it is giving the intendations okay for example resource types health check get okay query params and then click on that it will directly take you to that particular point okay uh, so I, I that's the reason i wanted to you to explore more on this now let's publish to exchange and we will end this video here because this is a, these are like series of videos that i wanted to make you and i don't want to put everything in a single video so click on this this is called like command palette okay whatever i am showing here this is called command palette and click on show and run commands and now you can search for MuleSoft. I was not finding that option before, but now I was able to find like you have different, different commands. You can see like design API, develop an integration, all this stuff, but we want to publish it to exchange. So you can see this option publish to exchange, MuleSoft publish to exchange. And this won't come unless and until you are inside. If you try to search for MuleSoft here, you won't be seeing that command. So because it, you should go inside this show and run commands. All right. So MuleSoft or I can just like search for publish to exchange. Oh, again, I have to go inside this and say publish to exchange. Okay. So click on this publish to exchange and it is asking to select a business group. You can choose your business group here and it is asking to give a name. I will use the default name. I will click on enter and artifact id name it is asking i will click on enter again and it is giving it is asking for the asset version enter and the api version all this step you can see here like it is publishing api specification to exchange it is more or less similar to uh, publishing to exchange over here it's just like it is asking different different steps here okay it's it's one and the same it's just that the id is different all right let's see it's still publishing to exchange 
it is asking like would you like to implement my first acb so now that you are done with your this api specification let's go and see whether we have that in our exchange first <clears throat> yep i do have it you can see my first acb it's showing connector though but it's fine so oh here it is right my first acb you can see my api specification has been published now it is asking whether you want to implement i will say yes go ahead click on yes and it is asking for the project name so i'll use something different name click on yes click on okay now it will start to scaffold you can see like scaffolding of api so this is the beauty of acb you can do everything online it is a cloud-based id or you have a desktop version as well just imagine opening any point studio and scaffolding the raml it would have taken you a lot it's like a lot of time right so i will show you the implementation part in my next video but uh, i think this is the good place to start acb if you have any questions please post it on the comments uh, i'm always happy to help and please don't forget to subscribe for the latest videos thank you